Hey, the riff we're checking out today is Smokestack Lightning, played by Hubert Sumlin with Howlin' Wolf. It's a classic blues riff, a really, really cool one, really good fun to kind of improvise around with and stuff a bit later as well. Now, the thing that you're going to have to learn for this one is to keep your thumb going all the time. Now, the thumb is going to be playing the thicker string. And what is really important is that you kind of rest the outside part of your palm here right on the guitar. So instead of being like, which would kind of sound a little bit weird, you're going to put your palm down on the guitar so it gets really muted. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to show you a close up of the riff in a sec. But the trick to learning this sort of stuff with your thumb and your fingers having to do separate things is to do it real slow and make sure you get the whether notes are together or whether they're in between the thumb. That's how I always think of it. I write it down. So if I've ever got any of this kind of thumb and fingers having to be independent like Tommy Manny or any of that sort of finger styly stuff, write it down where you can see really clearly whether the fingers and the thumb are going to be at the same time and then practice doing it real slow, real like or even slower probably when you start. So let's get to a close up, I'll show you the notes and then we'll run through it real slowly a couple of times together. Okay so we're starting here with the low E being played, then the open E and the thinnest E string, the open E up here, together. Now, on the record it sounds kind of like he's got the two fingers there, little finger and third finger, and the, little, the third finger is just bending a little bit. But it's only a little bit, it's not like a proper bend or anything like that, it's just a, I call them a blues curl. Often when you see, if you see videos of Hubert playing, now he just plays here. Just the one note on the thinnest string, but I'm pretty sure on the record it's those two. Now here, we're having to play second finger, second fret, third string. And as we slide it up, we're plucking the thick, the, the thick string there, the low E, at the, when it reaches the fourth fret. Then then there's this note here, the D, sec uh, first finger, second string, third fret. And we're back to this note again. So here we've got thumb playing the bass. Here, second finger, second fret of the third string. Off, second finger, second fret, fourth string. So the trick here is like I'm doing now, real slow. So even slower than that if we go like three, four. As I said, the trick here really is to play it very, very slowly, and if you can, write it down. Write out your own tab so you know exactly where the notes go. Now, the, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of count it as well as playing it real slow. 
Um, I find it difficult to play slowly. I shouldn't, but I do. Um, but if I count it out, that should uh, slow me down sufficiently. And the, uh, the trick here, the one, two, three, and four is where the bass is going to be. So that the thumb playing that bass note is going to happen on every beat. And then notes are happening sometimes on the beat and sometimes happening on an and. But the thumb is just happening on the one, two, three, and the four. So you'd have one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four. So that's the, if you write it down, put down the count, practice it really slowly, you'll be there. Now, the hardest part probably is keep keeping that thumb really even, nice and steady while you're playing through and being able to concentrate on the riff and eventually, hopefully, kind of muck around a little bit with the riff as well, kind of improvise within it while you keep the thumb going. Now, there's not really much of a trick to it other than practicing and really concentrating. Um, I found when I'm learning, well, you know, learning it, I still have to practice doing this stuff, you know. Um, and when I'm practicing it and I'm doing something complicated where I want to keep the thumb going or, or a rhythm pattern going while I'm doing something else, I stamp my foot really hard. I don't know if that'll work for you, but it works for me just to really, you know. Whatever. I just, if I really start thwacking my foot about, you know, it um, probably I don't look quite as stupid as I just did, but usually, well, I hope I don't when I practice. Anyway, I digress. Um, but that can, uh, I, that can be kind of helpful. Now, as to what fingers are doing the picking, I'm just using my first finger and my thumb, and that's it for this, because a lot of that kind of style that, that, you know, the older blues style is, it kind of works, seems to work better if you keep it real simple and don't think about, like, certain fingers on certain strings, because I don't think they thought that complicated about it. It was just they played it, you know. Um, there's quite a few great videos around of, of Hubert playing this actual riff, um, and what's really interesting is he doesn't do it quite as steady. He doesn't always have that bass going on one, two, three, and four. Sometimes it's on, he'll do three and four, so it's going. It's, it's kind of changing a little bit depending on what lead he's playing, you know? So um, you don't have to be that exact. I think it's a good idea to practice it to try and get it exactly like on the one, two, three, and the four. But if you don't get it exactly right, then you're probably playing it with a better blues feel than me. After all, I'm a skinny white kid, you know? Um, Anyways, hope you enjoy playing Smokestack Lightning. Go and check it out. It's on. There's a really the, probably the classic version is the, the the chess one with Howling Wolf. It's a really great tune. Lots of people have done covers of it, but uh, the one that you want to check out is the one with Hubert Sumlin playing guitar, who was the guitar player in Howling Wolf's band. Uh, fantastic, fantastic guitar player. And if you're into blues, make sure you go and check out that Howling Wolf stuff and transcribe his solos because he's awesome. Anyway, have fun with that, and I'll see you for another guitar lesson sometime very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.